right, first things first. To cut Casper's nails. <laughs> I'd cut his nails, but I mean, he just really hates it. And he's so old now. He's like, I think he's like 14 years old. So I, yeah, I don't bug him. If he doesn't want it done, I won't do it. All right, so the modification of the Vintage Line Land Speeder. So first thing first, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it apart. Uh, why am I going to take it apart? I don't know. I just like taking apart stuff. That's what I did with the Millennium Falcon. I took that apart. So I'm just going to take all these screws out, take it apart, and see... I don't know. See if it makes it any easier to paint some of it and see kind of how it works. So there it is now. And then we'll go ahead and take it apart. All right. Everything now taken apart. C3PO says, what a mess you've gotten yourself into. <laughs> Not really. I mean, kind of. I mean, I just have to remember where some of this stuff goes and keep track of all the screws and the springs and stuff, but um, <clears throat> I think it was worth it because now I'm going to be able to, you know, when I want to get into paint into the inside of the interior, I I'm going to have much more room instead of messing around with it. So I was able to take off the shield, so I don't have to worry about getting paint on there. If I want to paint some of the uh, control panel, it's going to be real easy to hold it like this as opposed to trying to paint, paint it inside of the uh, cockpit. Does this come off? I don't know. This might, I might, I might be able to take this part too, I don't know. But anyway, so this is what it looks like all taken apart. So <clears throat> I'm just going to kind of look at everything, kind of check, see how I want to paint, paint the stuff. These springs will probably pop off, yeah. But see, now I can actually just work on this stuff individually. All right, so I'm going to be uh, working on this paint stuff for a while, and then I'll put it back together, and then we'll take a look at it when I'm finished. Oh, I make sure not to lose any of those screws. <laughs> it's fun taking things apart. I'm sure I'll remember how to put it back together. All right. Let's see what happens. And voila, there you go. Like, wait a minute, Scooby, you missed some steps. Uh, no, I didn't. I, um... I painted some of the interior while it was apart, and then I put it all back together. Now, when I did put it back together, I did not put the wheels back in. I left those off. And, um, so yeah, so here it is. I painted on the uh, control panels there and dirtied up the floorboard. Same thing with the uh, seats. Dirtied up the glass. See some of the detail. I actually got sand up on there. Uh, exhaust ports. Try to show you around on the other side, but it's pretty much the same kind of stuff inside of the engine. Um, that one I had a little bit, I, you know, I didn't know if I wanted to paint a bunch of different colors. I've seen other people paint different colors on it, and I decided not to do that. I decided just to um, just use black, silver, white. I think it's a gun on the side. And then, of course, I have it on my Star Wars stand. Now, it does look like it's levitating. I did put a couple screws down below. Uh, you shouldn't see them when it goes on the wall. Uh, just the color that I painted them. And I will show you how it looks on the wall once I get one other item to go with this. So I should be getting that towards toward the end of the week. Toward the end of the week. So there you go. The uh, Vintage Collection Land Speeder modified and looking pretty cool. All right, questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I shall talk to you guys later. Have a fantastic week.